Yo, what's up everybody, Slay Zombie here, and today we're going to be playing a game I haven't played in a few months. It's called, uh, Stranded Deep. It's a PC exclusive, kind of like a Minecraft clone, kind of, but uh, has more emphasis on real survival rather than just crafting. And uh, there is the perfect way to start a game. Um, so basically, you're on a plane, and it crashes, and here I am with already tattered clothes. And uh, this, is, this is an indie game. It's not like a AAA kind of title, obviously. But um, this is a game uh, created by... Hell, what's their name? Um, I can't think of the name right now. But all I know is that it's a game that it's their first game. And they've put a lot of effort into it, I must say, from the very beginning stages. I've noticed a lot of changes that have been made since uh, the first time I played this. The, obviously, the you know start of the game is kind of the same, like how I just exploded. But let's see. This is going to be my first uh, new game. I played a little bit of it before I started this video, just to kind of see if uh, anything's too different. And uh, the environment has changed a lot, like a lot, but it's in a good way. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, the graphics have definitely improved. I'm not even on Ultra and they already look a lot better. Uh, gameplay feels the same, but um, the gameplay is fun so I don't mind that at all. Um, so this is a beginning part. Basically you're stuck on a raft and you have to find an island to survive on. Kind of like uh, Castaway a little bit. Um, I usually don't stick around the first island, it's usually kind of small. It's uh, procedurally generated, so you're never going to find the same area twice. Uh, and unless you actually pay attention to what your island is, where you build your shelter, you can actually lose your island and never find it again. So that's where you got to be careful when you're uh, going island hopping, because you never know if you're going to actually hit the right island or not. But um, let's see, there's so many fish in this game now, it's like crazy. I bet I could just go around this raft and use spear fishing all day, but I'm going to go ahead and see what do I have in my backpack. Let's see. I have a hand in my backpack. That's what I have. Alright, let's keep going this way. Hopefully we'll uh, stumble upon something. Maybe a uh, huge island with lots of, uh, let's see, lots of cows and pigs for bacon. That'd be great. It can be a little tedious and boring at first to find an island, because um, they're really far spaced. So, you know, obviously, see, there's the beginning island. We haven't gone very far. But, you know, you, you'll find one. Your, uh, um, what do you call that? Uh, setting for your distance rendering can make a big difference in whether you actually see a lot of islands or not. Because if you have it set to really close, you're not going to see much. But if you have it set to far, you're going to see a lot more islands. Um, let's see. That's weird. It looks like like the clouds just ended right here or something. Um, let's see if we could try to find an island before night hits. That would be uh, very nice. Can go swimming, but unless you have a scuba gear, I really don't recommend it. Uh, this game, when I picked it up, was about fifteen dollars. I don't know if uh, it's picked up at all. I think it just came out of early access. But if someone wants to correct me if I'm wrong, ah, there's an island. We'll go over there. If someone wants to correct me, go ahead. But I'm pretty sure it's out of early uh, development now, or early access, as they call it on Steam. Um, it's definitely come a long way, it looks a lot better, and it seems like the, um, what do you call it, the physics are a lot better, especially the life raft, because you could easily fall off the life raft and you wouldn't know why, you'll just be paddling and then boom, you're in the ocean, but I haven't come across that anymore, so I mean, I, I think it's pretty good so far. Let's see, oh, is that another island over there? I don't know if that's the start, see, you could get really disorientated, I don't know if that's the starting island, because I thought it was over there, 
but I guess we're just going to go ahead and pop down on this one. It kind of looks exactly the same as the other one. But, hey, it's somewhere we can call home, right? Let's see if we can paddle any faster than this. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to take the time to find a really nice island, so I'm going to go ahead and skip forward in the video until I find a good one. So let's go ahead and do that. Hey, there's an island. That looks interesting. Uh, welcome back, guys. I took uh, quite a bit of time, even though I skipped through it. <laughs> it feels like welcome back, because I've been paddling aimlessly for like 10 minutes here. And it looks like we found a nice foresty looking island. Looks big enough, so I mean, we, that's where we can make our uh, shelter. So why not? Got a few more paddle strokes and we'll be there in no time. Alrighty, I have not come across any sharks, luckily. Um, so that's good, but I probably will eventually and they'll probably eat me. Although I remember in the, like, the alpha stages, the sharks weren't even, like, they, they weren't even a threat. You can literally just go up to them, and you can punch them or stab them, and they won't do anything. They'll just keep swimming around in circles. So, I mean, you could do whatever. I hope they made them a little more aggressive. Uh, that'll make it more realistic, because I'm pretty sure if you punch a shark, it's not just going to keep swimming in circles. It's probably going to attack you. So, let's go ahead. Oh, we have an artifact. Great. I don't know if they fixed that, but uh, I'm not going to stop the video just for a screen artifact. Holy shit. What? They added stingrays? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I remember it used to just be sharks and a couple of fish, and that was no fun to play with. So I'm glad they added some more wildlife here. Alright, here we are. Hey, what's up with the rendering? These trees... Okay, I think it's rendering pretty slowly, but... Hold on, gotta move the raft up. I don't want it to go floating away on me. What the heck? Okay, that'll work. Oh look, a crab. If I can beat it with this? No, I can't beat it with that. Uh, let's see. Wait, oh! I can't put this in my little backpack thing. All right, so first. Okay, this, we got some materials here, some uh, corrugated scrap. Let's see if we can make like a like a tool or something. We need, we're gonna need a stick. Why can't I keep these in my backpack? Okay, that's weird. But what's the difference between that wood stick and this wood stick? Maybe I gotta maybe I gotta like equip my hands or something. Okay, yeah, I think I just had to equip my hands. Alright, I'm gonna take this crab. Hold on, let's make a tool. Let's see, where's the crafting here? Uh, we need to make a stone tool. Um, yeah, I guess just a stone tool is probably the first step we want to go ahead and do. So let's go ahead and pick up these sticks for later. A piece of rock. Here's another rock. Let's see if we can make a tool now. Yeah, there we go. All right, now let's equip that. Let's go kill us some dinner. Come on, little crab. There we go. Yummy. All right, now let's make... Oh, look, a ship. Cool. I wonder what's in here. Ooh, a bucket? I like buckets. I'll take a bucket. And I'll take this tarp. Another bucket? Um... Let's see, will that take up like a lot of space? Nope, just another empty bucket. Cool. All right, let's go. Let's go explore this. Here's a young palm tree. Let's let's chop it down for no reason. See what it gives me. Fibrous leaves. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I dropped my tool. Okay, thought I was gonna lose it. All right, let's see what we can do here. Kindling, refined knife, we can make a spear. Ooh, a fishing spear. We're gonna definitely need that. Oh, let's let's grab that there. Let's see. 
looks like we need rope for a lot of stuff. That kind of sucks. Um, structures, tools. Uh, that's kind of the same thing I was just at. We can make a campfire or a fire pit. That would be nice. Uh, fire spit. Oh, that's for like roasting shit. Uh, solar still. Whoa. I can make a solar still. We need to make like a place for me to keep all this stuff. I like this. What the fuck is that? Is that a fucking boar? Hold on, hold on. How the hell did... How did this even get here? Like fall out of an airplane from a parachute or something? See, that doesn't make any sense. I really doubt an island of this size in the middle of the ocean is going to have a javelina. Let's get a spear. I'm going to kill this thing. hate to sound like a jerk, but... Alright. I have no room, I guess, probably. Yep, I don't have any room. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and throw these down. And I'm going to have me some... No, you know what? Actually, I'm not going to have some dinner. I... I think I'm just gonna let it grow. Let it kind of chill until I start like dying of hunger. Wait, press jump to climb? Or hold jump? Oh, cool! That's really nice. You can climb these instead of just chopping them down like in the alpha. Oh, that's great. That's a, that was a great addition. You can cut down the coconuts instead of just chopping down the whole tree for one coconut. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now let's go explore this ship. Alright, so, what do we got here? What's that? Oh, that's probably just something for the boat. Oh, there's something up here. Uh, torch. I don't know why I just climbed that. A torch. It looks kind of like a flashlight to me, but okay. Um... Should be able to make a rope from a few of these. Oh, cool. So I can make a rope from that. We got a flashlight in there. Looks like a bunch of tires. Let's see what's inside of the ship. Um, what's in here? Carburetor. Okay. And a propeller. It's kind of weird. They got like all this weird stuff. Alright, where should I make my shelter? What is this? Get back here! Oh, there's multiple ones. Wow, this is a really nice island. See, this is where you gotta use your huntsmanship and spear one for dinner. But we'll let them live for now. This looks like a great spot to build my empire right here.